All right, so I might separate some of the things we say in this video into a couple more videos actually, but there's actually a lot of leaks. So we're just going to go through all of it. Now, I'm going to guess most of this is either going to come this season or it's just related to global. Those are like the two main things I could see. And also just some other things. Uh, sometimes if it's just art, it's going to be in other seasons. But if it's actually like the renders, of course, like Julius is coming this season, like the full gameplay. But when it's just art, of course, it could come in future seasons. So we're going to have more information on all of this uh, posted below from what I've seen. But first off, let's just talk about uh, the double pickup banners, which these, I'm going to guess, are um, going to be on global. Like, we already had these, and I don't think they're going to redo these pickup banners unless they start doing, like, pickup banner reruns, I guess. But considering the information we have below, I just don't see them doing this. Now, it's good that Ryan and Lich are together. Um, that's probably going to be the must summon banner at the beginning. This is just a really good thing for grinding in PvE against blue stages and PvP also. You're probably going to be running this team until Noel. I'd say that this is going to be a very good banner um, for when it does come to global. We'll find more information out soon when Canada does drop. But uh, overall, pretty good. Um, I think that this banner is like, you might not want to summon on it. I just think that dual banners are only good when both units are good. Like Ryan List, but this, if you pull Vettel, I, I would actually be so pissed. So I hope that pity on these banners is like you get to choose one of the two, but we'll have to see. Then Mars step up. Um, that's cool. One of the like only good step ups, I'd say, because one of the only good like normal units at this point now. Um, you don't really see other many other ones except for like Lotus. When Lotus gets one, I know everyone's going to summon for that and it's going to be a good one. Now, Julius, just some cool arts. Now, this, this is important. This, I think to me is very cool. Now, first off, a new Veto marked as seasonal and non-seasonal. Come on, like this isn't a seasonal, right? Like to me, it's not a seasonal unless they start s s just switching things up for some reason. Um, I mean, this is also a new unit because it is Despair Veto at the end. When they open their third eye, that's what they call like the Despair. So you could see it better here, uh, third eye. Very cool. Um, I gotta say this art, bro, goes so hard. Like these two arts in specific, I love. Now, Despair Veto to me is really huge. Um, I personally think he's one of like the coolest like uh, antagonist that we've had especially because of what he like kind of enabled everyone to do in the black bulls and kind of it was the first like true to me growing point for noel and vanessa especially also Finral. uh those three like those three really just stood out to me now we're probably gonna get this next season as the big one considering there's no other ones at the moment i don't know but i feel like we're gonna get dimension slash yami with this we'll have to see i keep on saying it but i think we're gonna get dimension slash yami but bro just look at that art like it looks sick um now as for why it's marked seasonal non-seasonal no clue right uh but there it is now he he is gonna come uh probably next season i'd say season uh four because that's when we're getting chapter six i guess and chapter six is gonna be the end of seabed and with that, like, the only other unit they could really do is Despair Yami. Uh, not Despair Yami. Um, Dimension Slash Yami. Now, next up, there's a new Mimosa Seasonal. No Grimoire, so that may be telling. But we already have our skill icons. Or they've been posted before, I'm pretty sure. Now, summer, another summer unit. Uh, I feel like this just proves that Charlotte might be coming with this. I feel like she, w she we're going to have a third season of summer units at this rate. Unless it's for, like, the long, long future away. I feel like they're going to do one end of August. Uh, I, I feel it, bro. I'm feeling it. Because, like, if they're releasing uh, more skins for summer units, there's no way. And I'm honestly pretty down for that. More healers is a bit weird, though. I feel like Kahono and... Uh, what's her face? Charmy is already enough for, like, one, like, two, three week span. But, like, hey, maybe she'll be, like, cracked in her own way. But, yeah. Uh, very interesting. And the reason why... It's weird how she's marked as seasonal and non-seasonal. I don't know, uh, both of them being like that is probably because they're not really, they're going to be coming out next season, I'm guessing. My my guess, right? That's what I'm kind of guessing from this, right? And then the Geo, who's going to come out with Veto, obviously. Uh, this art honestly goes pretty hard. Not much to say, I don't really care for him at all. Now the ticket selection, this is what it looks like. I didn't show it in the last video, but I think this is just a free summons from what was described below. But uh, yeah, anyway, these icons, cool, cool, cool. Then a, the seasonal Jack, which is probably going to be the school Jack. Considering that's a protractor, it's going to be the Jack uh, from the same set as the school Yami and all that. Now, we talked about Julius, so no need to talk about that. Let's go to this part. So, a uh, new custom or new summon, custom rate up summon unlocked. You can increase the summon rate of the selected mage by X percent, probably one or point. Yeah, I think it's going to be one, up to one percent. 
The total rate of SSR does not change. You can select up to one SSR mage every day. If you summon a selected mage, the rate resets. Do you want to select X, rate, uh, X as your rate up mage? Once you select the mage, you cannot change them until the next reset. You have to select. You have selected X as your rate up mage. You've obtained X. You've already obtained the mage you selected as the rate up mage. You can reselect the rate up mage or rate up skill page after the reset time passes. The reset time has passed. The rate of X will reset. A lot of information to take on. First, first off, um, this means you could basically guarantee any unit in the game for for the most part, like get them higher rates if you want them. Like you need one more dupe and you have a lot of pulls. I think this is actually splendid. I don't know if you should do them per se, but if there's a unit you're missing and you do want now and you're able to pull for, I'd say this is amazing. Now, the biggest to me is this rate up skill page. Yes, we actually needed something like this. Um, I'm thinking this is very good. Uh, big W on their part. I'm just good job, like finding some way to rate up skill pages again. I'm loving this. Uh, this is definitely going to be good. And I hope the rates are pretty good. I mean, I don't know if they'll, they'll be higher than normal, but that would be interesting. Now, the required summon times for obtaining custom rate up mages will be reduced by one for each summon. Um not really sure what this means if you guys know sure let me know but i really am not sure if you perform enough summons you will be guaranteed the mage skill page you selected that that's beautiful they made a way to guarantee skill pages and i'm so for this this is amazing this is absolutely amazing um really good job on their part for finding a way to make skill pages guaranteed i'm more happy about the skill pages because you don't really like bro you're gonna pull enough lotuses or marses or rodesses throughout your time you don't need them but for skill pages hell yeah bro guaranteed skill pages is a big w i'm happy with this so i hope these come up soon personally um now this is a normal pickup banner right like usual now this uh julius has been released let's celebrate and perform selective summons for free Julius gift at event attendance, which means like, bro, they're treating this as a big like uh, celebration. Now, um, basically, new summon Julius gift unlocked, and then item called Julius gift. So there's probably gonna be either ways to like level them up more quickly, stuff like that. I'm not too sure, but also when I'm thinking about it, uh, the red could have easily not just been for like uh, just like a new type of banner, I guess. More so, just he comes as a UR which would mean you get the um, LR passive guaranteed. We'll have to see, but there's a lot of things that are really interesting with this. Now, it seems like this is going to be free summons. Like this, this banner is free summons, which is insane. Like you get free summons and many people will get lucky and be able to pull Julius off of these free summons and not need to summon. They'll have enough dupes to just dupe him out like that, which makes this really cool. I think they're treating Julius as he should. And honestly, it's just amazing. Uh, everything about this is amazing. The leaks we've gotten have been really interesting. The two types of new banners being a free summon type of banner. Also double pickup banner, so three new types total. Uh, very cool. And then I think with Despair Veto, honestly, the swagger this guy has is actually insane. I, I think it's sick. I personally do think it's sick. Let me know what you guys think. Overall, very good leaks in my eyes. Um, crazy that I had like enough to make two leak videos off of it technically I didn't like I feel like Julius did deserve his own video for that but yeah uh, so it does seem that Julius is just gonna be a normal pickup but like more exclusive in a way I don't think this bear battle is gonna release alongside Julius I mean Julius is his own thing he has his own festival and all that so yeah basically it um, I'll see you in the next one peace